Hi, I'm Daniel, and this is Asheville. Today I'm at Powerfinger UK for sign off of a brand new one of a kind Asheville lorry, which is a hook loader and crane combo. So I really like the setup here, especially this wall. You can see the history of the brand, how it started, and how the company evolved over the years. This is something hopefully Asheville will have one day. This place is some setup. I'm gonna have a look around the yard first and see everything they've got. Oh, there's some grab cranes over there. obviously in the wrong color. Being in a place like this, I can see so many different variations of lorries. I can see some people with a crane mounted at the back, some mounted at the front, some mounted in the middle, and I can see some bits of kit that I don't even actually know what they do. But trust me, I'm gonna find out. All these specialist bits of kit are for highway agency work. In here, we have the spray booth, because they spray everything here, but um, obviously our man is doing a bit of spray and so he's closed it. In the past, whenever I've called here for parts, I've always wondered how they managed to select the parts and how they managed to organize them and all this sort of thing. Literally, on a crane, there are thousands of parts. You call here with a part number and straight away, they manage to know if they've got stock and they find it. This is how. All right, well, he's walked off now. <laughs> Look at that, it's pulled out an entire shelf of parts. Now, how many different shelves have we got in there? Four, I think. 64. Drum roll. Keys to my new lorry. <laughs> now let's go and have a look at it. Here we are, and here she is, our one of a kind eight by two crane hook combo. While it may look like this lorry is very similar to some of the other lorries in our fleet, this lorry is slightly different. It's an eight by two configuration, so it looks a lot like some of the standard tippers we've got. However, the rear two wheels steer also. This is a 13 litre, 450 brake horsepower, and the whole lorry sits on air suspension. To give you an insight into why this lorry is spec the way it is, I need to let you know what it's actually gonna be used for. The first thing is delivery of bagged aggregates. The hook on the end of the crane will be used to pick up bags of material. The next function of this lorry is to pick up and drop off bins. Many of you refer to this as roll on roll off bins. This hook will connect to the bins and pick them up onto the lorry and drop them off as well. Now, many of you, when having a look at this, probably thought, well, if you have a crane, where are you gonna put the bags? There's no body on this lorry. But what we can actually do is buy a flatbed and use this hook and pick the flatbed up and put it on the back here. So then this lorry can act as a material handler. The truth be told, we're quite new to bagged aggregates and we're also new to roll on roll off bins. So we don't actually have enough work to keep the lorry busy. But this lorry serves another function. When we have the flatbed on the back of the lorry, we can transport machines for ourselves and for other companies. Another function of this fantastically versatile lorry is using the hook to load different bodies with different functions onto the back, i.e. dust carts and compactors. That's the kit on the back. Let me tell you now a little bit more about my thinking behind the lorry, the axle, and the features. The lorry sitting on air suspension means it's a lot more versatile. For instance, in the morning, you could be in central London doing multi-drops. The driver needs to be a lot lower to the ground so he has much better vision seeing everything that's going on around. In the afternoon, you could go into a construction site or a landfill where you need much more ground clearance. The rear steer means that while this is a really long lorry, it can be a lot more nimble in small areas in central London when picking up bins or dropping off material. That's it for the outside. Let's jump in the cab and I'll show you all the cool features. Still got that new car smell. You can see the plastic is still on the seats. The technicians were kind enough to put that on while they were working on the lorry because they don't want to get it dirty. Uh, the cab is very similar to the other lorries we've shown you, but this one has one significant difference. This is a brand new feature. It's a breathalyzer. You have to blow into this and get yourself a green tick before you can actually start the engine. 
This is something that we're going to put in all our lorries moving forward to ensure we are putting the lorries on the road as safely as possible. Other cool features in here is this remote control which controls the air suspension. So you can lift the front of the lorry up, the back of the lorry up, or you can do them both at the same time. And you also have four memory functions. Here we have our crane controller that I'm gonna show you working in a minute. Here we have our hook loader controller that actually attaches on a magnet. Because we have two systems, the first thing we have to do is decide if we're going to use the crane or the hook loader. By flicking this switch, I click to the hook loader. So I have my hook loader remote, magnetically stuck to the truck. I'm gonna open the bin locks. Now when I open the bin lock, straight away I have a warning gone off. That's to let me know that the bin is no longer secure on the back of the lorry. I'm pulling in the hook loader. I'm now gonna lift it. Right, now we're ready to hook on a bin or a flatbed. I would actually have to drive forward, but you know, for the purposes of this demonstration. Let's pull our bin to the front of the lorry. Once we've done all of that, Let's put our lock on. We're now ready to get moving. That's the hook loader. Let's flick the switch and operate the crane. Before you operate the crane, you need to put the legs down. So let's do that first. When putting your legs down, you don't want to damage the road or the pavement. So here we are. Oh, he's locked it. He's locked it. <laughs> he's locked it. When putting the legs down, you always want to put a pad down because you don't want to upset everybody and damage the road. On the side of the lorry here, we have our pads. Something I really like about these legs is that you can pull them out and the leg is still up this high. Some places in London, you have really high curbs like this height. With legs like this, you can pull the legs out, you can bypass any obstructions, and you can still put them down to support yourself when you're using the crane. One side. Our legs are down, ready to use the crane. Firstly, let's lift the main boom. Okay, let's bring it round here. And we are about to grab a bag of aggregate. Yes, I'm ready to grab a bag of aggregate here. So we've clicked on the bag of aggregate. And I've successfully put that bag of aggregate on the back of the lorry. So we're putting away the crane. Nice and side on. We lift the main boom. Bring the jib in. And there's a little catch on there that we have to try and get onto to do it securely. We're done with the crane. We're going to put the legs away. Let's turn off the remote, stop any accidents happening. It's one of my pet hates that you get a lorry and you have pads on it. And then somebody goes to a job and they leave the pads on the job. So I'm trying to lead by example. I'm happy to say all is well and the lorry does exactly what we need it to do. Stay tuned for the review where we're going to put this lorry out to work in the field and see how it gets on. Let us know in the comments below anything else you think we could use this for or any questions you may have. Click here for the Asheville website. Click here to subscribe to our channel. 
Click here for an introduction to the Asheville fleet and click here for a full review playlist. You're not going to stitch me up this time.